That is a dick. Can I put that on YouTube? I don't even think, I don't think I can put that on YouTube. Hey everybody, Dorian here, and today we're going to be going on Craigslist, and we're going to go through the rants and rave section and look at the crazy shit people put on the fucking internet. And uh, I've done this once before, like a year ago, and there was some wild shit on here, so just so you know, these Craigslist videos are... Uh, are and will be probably forever my most vulgar videos because um, the shit that is in here is wild as fuck and I have very little filter already so when I get into this this kind of stuff like you're, you're getting 100% Dorian like this isn't trying to be PC or um, you know politically correct for YouTube you know or whatever children friendly you know like you're gonna get some weird shit in here and if you're not okay with that I understand not everybody watches my channel is 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 okay with those mature themes and if you're not like this isn't the video for you I'm sorry um, otherwise get ready for some fucking crazy shit all right I'm gonna start here <laughs> if you can't tell what that picture is at the top of the screen it is a it is a I can't tell if it's a drawing or a crude x-ray of a dick. Jesus fucking Christ. It's already, it's already wild. Deep breath. Okay, here it goes. I am looking for a first time experience. I am curious to try anal. Giving and receive. Never received a BJ from anyone other than a female. Someone once told me, guys or TV, do it better. As they know from experience, what feels best. What does he mean by or TV? Transvestite, okay. Uh, on that note, I have never felt a sloppy BJ. I, poor son of a bitch. Nor have I have ever given a BJ. If you're into it. I am not looking to switch sides, but can't help but wonder what if anything I might be missing out on even a woman with a strap on would be considered highly. I am a bit older, 48. Average looks and build. 5'7 <clears throat> and about 175 pounds. Ironically, about my size. Ugh. Very clean shaven. Six inch equipment. <laughs> this must be very discreet and low down. My wife and t will totally flip out. I cannot host. <laughs> Time and arrangements can be made to accommodate. I don't do drugs and I don't drink. I don't do 420 until it ever becomes legal. Here. I would prefer you to be close in age, similar in size. Nothing bigger than a finger has ever been inside me. Jesus Christ. I know too much about this man already. More than I ever wanted to know. I keep reading and hearing about prostate orgasms, and I am curious. Go get a fucking exam if you want a finger up your ass. I mean, you know, like to each their own, whatever. I will only respond to sensible responses. A TV, TG, or Femme Crosser would be preferred. Picks not required, however could sway me towards you for selection. I am very real, great sense of humor, and somewhat a nudist. Somewhat a nudist. What is a somewhat nudist? Either you're, you're a nudist or you're not. Like, do you walk around with just your you know, bottom half off? Like, you wear shirt, no pants? Like, are you a never nude, but you want to be a nudist? I need more backstory here. Uh, so I'm not real shy. I do have pics once I am sure I do not know you. <laughs> Please use discreet. Also, also consider I have a friends with benefit female that is bi and later on would be interested in a threesome. Again, if you have a penis and tits, this would slash could be a perfect combination. <laughs> looking for soon, not ASAP as of now. So if you are looking for something along the lines of this request, you might just be what I seek. Do not respond if you are overbearing, extremely dominant, or suggest a or suggest a verify site. Uh, let's not waste each other's time, and if you're seeking money, you won't get that from me. So this one was a really long one to start off with. I'm sorry about that, but Jesus fucking Christ, I saw the dick pic, and I was like, what is that even? And then I, when I realized what it was, and the best part is, the worst best part, is he has one of them flaccid and erect, but they're, they're not actual pictures. They're like, as you can see, it's like a scribble, like almost like with chalk. Okay. So this dude's wild as fuck, and you know what, like, you want to get his rocks off, let him get his rocks off however he wants. It's the, the parts that get me are, like, he's very, if any of you ever watched Always Sunny, he makes me think of Mac in that he's probably bi, 
he's most definitely bi, but does not want to have sex with a dude because he's very self-conscious about that part of himself. So he would rather it be a dude dressed up as a woman, which, you know, like, trannies are fine. But he would rather, and this is the thing that gets me, have a dude dressed up as a woman than just a dude. Either way, he's fucking a dude. Either way, he's attracted to dudes. He just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting off topic now, but this is fucking wild. This says, here we are now. It's Friday. Did someone say Friday? Smile. It's Friday. There's a cat looking at a dog looking at a cat. Arizona sunset. Mr. Potato Head. He's a baked potato. And, and whatever that is. Another beautiful day and another great holiday weekend. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. Oh my, have a happy Friday and a nice weekend. I thought I had found something amazing finally. So much alike that I felt like old friends. Different enough to still be able to learn new things. Had me believing in a picture that was painted with disappearing paint. Everything was legit. Go away, reproduce, come back, beg for forgiveness, rearrange like you live here and then leave when the next sucker falls for the same routine. Leaving just enough behind as a reminder and excuse to return. Cheesecake and wine. I'll take the crazy one. I have no idea what this post is about. I have literally no fucking idea. I found if I document my life on YouTube to impress others, I start to do things I normally wouldn't for footage. <laughs> I have a YouTube. <laughs> it's a fucking YouTuber on Craigslist. That's funny. That's very meta. It's meta kids. But it's right. You, you start finding you do stuff on YouTube for footage that you wouldn't normally do. Like I'm gonna be doing this thing once I hit 200 subs. It's an entire challenge, it's eight people. I already have it all ironed out and I would never have done that. I would never have done what I'm going to do if, <laughs> if it wasn't for YouTube. <coughs> okay, here we go. Yes, I am. Yes, I am the manager. I'm the manager of McDonald's. I'm sick of you and your kids coming in, coming here ordering a Coke just to spend hours at Playland. Your brats run all over here like a pack of wild hyenas. Ronald is also tired of you. Go to Burger King. You are not welcome here. The manager, McDonald's. You remember that, kids? You're not welcome there. Get something more than a fucking Coke. Go to Burger King where they actually are nice. And he has like this cool crown. And they have chicken fries and barbecue sauce. A little monkey at Chris Town Mall. I was such a dapper young child. <laughs> I love how that starts. I was such a dapper young child. Blonde, curly hair and light sparkling of freckles on my face. The ladies couldn't keep from pinching my cheeks and squeezing my tushy. My mother used to take me to Chris Town every weekend. I wore a Wallace and Ladmo baseball cap and the cutest little shorts. I was the top cat. She would always give me a shiny penny to give other organ grinder to give the organ grinder. He was a big greasy man in a colorful suit and had a funny smell, but it was the monkey that brought me there. I was next in line to shake the monkey's hand when the midget cut in front of me. He was no taller than me. He had a humongous head, short arms and legs. He startled the monkey. The monkey wouldn't shake the midget's hand even for a penny. Finally, the monkey got tired of the melee and jumped into his back, shredding his big ears. He tried to get off, tried to get it off, but his arms were too short. The greasy organ grinder finally got him off. What the fuck? I was totally traumatized. So apparently this guy, when he was a dapping, a little, a dapper young child, went to this greasy old man who had a monkey and fucking there was a midget in front of him and the monkey jumped on the midget and started ripping out his ears, but the midget's hands were too small. And he's like, I can't reach the monkey. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's funny. <laughs> oh, it's funny. What's up, buttercup? Oh, what's up, buttercup? I see the bed bug burrowed into your brain, driving you completely insane. Multiple personalities is a bitch, especially when one is a witch. Oh my God. Neener, neener, ding dong, smoke a bong, politics has driven you insane. You're so fucking edgy. You're so fucking edgy, Freckles. All right, so this one's a little long, so it's gonna be the last one, and depending on how well this video does and whatever your comments say and stuff like that will determine if I do another one, and if I do another one, I'm gonna iron out the way. I'm gonna do it, make it look a little bit cleaner and and, and all that other stuff, but this is more of a, a, a test run now that I actually have viewers, so. Here comes the last one. The Big Mac story. 
The Big Mac makes my stomach feel funny whenever I retry them. I try McDonald's about twice a year and it only gets worse. In and Out Burger is my favorite. <sighs> they have never had a freezer or microwave or heat lamp since they opened in 1948. And more do you know. They also pay their employees the highest wages in America for chain fast food place and they only hire friendly, nice looking Americans and they speak English. Oh God, this is getting bad. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm from Arizona. As soon as I see, and they speak English. I just, and Americans in the same sentence, I, I have a feeling where it's gonna go. The french fries are peeled and cut up right in the store and cooked in 100% vegetable oil since 1948. Milkshake is real milk! <laughs> and ice cream. Uh, I love them so much I collect their t-shirts and bumper stickers. I used to drive a 140 mile round trip just to eat there. Sean Hannity, a very wealthy man, goes to In-N-Out Burger the very first thing when he flies into LAX. We know who Sean Hannity is. I work for rich people, good for you, that can afford the world's most expensive food and In-N-Out is where they eat and they want the best chain hamburger on earth. Period. End of paragraph. End of sentence. That was actually three sentences and you're still in the middle of your paragraph, so. There is no debate to it. Sometimes I wear my In-N-Out paper hat on the freeway or when I go through their drive through people love them so much they put their bumper stickers on their cars and wear their American-made t-shirts that aren't actually made in America, but it is the number one choice of surfers. Look at the menu. How in the hell can a place that sells breakfast make a great hamburger? Hamburgers only, period. Cowabunga. When you go to In-N-Out, don't be an asshole and knock over a skateboard either. Hang 10, 100% real American beef, never frozen, no filters ever, period. All food is made to order, no heat lamps or cold soggy food ever, period. I put ketchup and mustard and onions on hot dogs because I have good taste. I only eat Hebrew national hot dogs because they are kosher. Okay. When I elect president, I will deport anyone that eats chicken hot dogs or chicken burgers. I eat chicken links. Thank you very much. They are delicious and tasty and chicken sandwiches are good too. So you know what? You can go suck a chip. Uh, period or imi imitation crab or fake lobster. Period. I will never allow yuppies to live here. Period. Or anyone that wears spandex of any kind. Period. If you eat veggie burgers, you will be deported on my first day in office. Period. Also, anyone that plays the air guitar will be deported on day one. Period. Whew. That's a lot of periods. I ran out of breath. This does not go the direction I was expecting it to go, but it went in a good direction. A direction that I am proud of. A direction that Amera, America can be proud of. A, a direction that all English-speaking American that don't eat chicken or air guitar or imitation crab or fake lobster or non-kosher dogs can appreciate. So... What is, what am I doing with my life? Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And like always, I will catch you all in my next video. Later.